day. So um, I will take this tournament, but I'll take one of the other ones as well. So we have 40 left. Let's go. Guaranteed. Um, maybe a profit. I think I'm showing a profit. <laughs> Not 100%. I think so. Going to raise here. Going to defend queen seven suited. Nine, ten suited. I can come in for a raise. Now we are in the money, so I might want to open up my ranges if there were a lot of short stacks. But there isn't at this table, so I don't expect like everyone to play back at me too much. And I'm gonna fold here if this was after this continuation bet. So In my head in this is like, okay, I'm re-raised very small. It's a min re-raise. Um, some people do that sometimes with weaker ranges. We saw a guy do it in the first video with uh, two eights. Um, so I am definitely calling here. I don't think there's really any merit for me to do anything else but call. I think I'm getting too good of a price. Can't really do anything. Anything else here? Um, unfortunately, I get a bad flop from my hand. Here I'm going to check. I limped. And here I get a really big flop from my hand. I think I'm going to go ahead with a bet. And I just got a fold in that 10 suited with real no equity. And the queen 9 suited wins that. Um, King 10, I block some of his bluffs, like 10x hand type hands, but I think there are some 5x and 7x hands I could beat here. So I'm just going to peel. Uh, I got the king of clubs. I don't expect him to have too many flushes. I might have the best hand here sometimes, and it might go check check. Um, he did it. I have a pair of fours, so... Find value that by him after the flop goes check check. I considered for a briefly, for a brief moment to maybe bet the river as a bluff with the king of clubs, but I thought I had enough showdown. I didn't love that I had the ten in my hand either. kind of reverse block some of his bluffs. Here we are on the bubble, so that's cool. Hopefully make the money. I will fold AC off to his 24 big blind shove. Fold Queen Jack off to the we're gonna open. Open this hand on the call. So I like playing short-handed because it's just you're either the cutoff, the button, the small blind, or the blind. And um, it's really just like playing nine-handed when everyone folds. So if you play four-handed, it gives you a lot of good experience just playing against button opens and other wide range. Like that. So pretty cool. Be folding Jack Deuce, Ace Deuce on the button. So I like rising here. Could go a little bit big, bigger by LJ, but LJ is probably just hoping to. Which he did. Or just. Re-raise fold. Now I'll just re-roll. 10-5 off in the small blind. Not going to complete here. Probably want like 10-7 offsuit or 10-8 offsuit to call another 1,500. So yeah, I would smash that flop, but can't look at it like that. So a small blind play, a lot of the time, on um, these deeper stacks, I would just be limping often. 
with the intention to limp call a lot of raises and then limp fold my absolute trash. I'm just hoping Swaggy B is going to check back often. Here we see a 4X, and this is a hand that I will just be letting go of. So the idea. And just see a flop with my trash, and then hopefully have a range advantage and bet boards that favor a stronger limping range. Uh, have a great hand here. You know what? I'm going to limp the button. I've been thinking of different uh, limping strategies, and I think this is a cool one. Two sevens under the gun. Man, with all these stack sizes here, I don't... I don't really want to call these guys shoves. I think this is very borderline. I could totally, uh, totally raise and then like call his shove and see what else happens. But um, I don't know. Just making, feeling like making an outside of the box fold. I think we're on the bubble. Yeah. I think it's probably a good fold. It's on the bubble. Sorry, I had to call that show up there. All right, so this guy decides a min raise out of position, biggity, biggity. <laughs> um, and the big blind calls. We have a pretty easy call here. Hand for hand play. I think I like that fold. It's have to get raised. Anything better, but six. This is probably. You know, full two, but sevens is really close. All right, so Biggity has bet 40% uh, pot or so, and the two players out of position. So hopefully we would get to see, uh, hopefully we would have got to see a turn, but this guy min raises, and holy sh... really don't know what to think. Excuse my vulgarity, but we don't have any backdoor draws. I mean, what draws exist on this board? Ace three and ace five, would those really raise small here? I think we're really seeing like deuces or fours or jack four, jack deuce. Um, but the suited versions can't really be there and we block the suited jack X's. So I don't know if this is just like trash or if it's really like a King Jack, Jack 10, something type of hand. I'm just going to fold because I think both these players are showing some strength. And maybe that was a mistake on my part, but calling 15K and having 70% pop there, I, I 